G'day everybody, welcome back to another day in Wuyan and another episode of our playthrough of Dinkum. Hope you guys are doing well. We've started the day out here in the spare house because we had stuff to do all the way out here. Uh, but I think this is probably a good opportunity for us to actually do some of the work that we've been neglecting around these parts. So uh, let's get to it. Now yesterday was an exciting day actually and uh, I suppose maybe you could say that uh, the reason why we ended the episode out here was because it was Wu Yan Day and uh, we had some fireworks being displayed. Good old Franklin arranged for that to happen. I don't know how he manages to get all of the fireworks, you know, uh, shooting off from the horizon wherever you are, but uh, Nonetheless, uh, it is an ingenious invention, and uh, yeah, he should be commended for that. Uh, now, in this episode, I'm gonna try and focus on a couple of things. One is, uh, obviously, there's the work that needs to be done uh, out in North Wuyan to, you know, widen the roads, get the, um, the water feature in. Uh, I would say that maybe widening the roads is something that we don't really need to do anymore because uh, the roads are wide enough but those water features though we do need to get those in so we'll be crafting a few of those uh, today and also I'll be trying to craft a few more ramps because we are sort of fresh out of ramps as well uh, and I do want to sort of have quite a few ramps because uh, I do plan on replacing uh, certain steps in different areas where um, we've, you know, <laughs> we're basically uh, not used ramps because uh, the steps look a little bit nicer. Well, I've sort of come around to the ramps, so uh, we're going to try and use those. Uh, and uh, so there's a little bit of a, a replacement project that we need to complete in various locations. Uh, it's mainly obviously to get those uh, pathways fixed up and uh, to be able to enable the ute to travel through without too much of an issue. But uh, anyway, I think we're done with putting a few things away here at the workshop. Uh, it might be a good idea for us to just quickly check on the board, see if there's anything interesting there. Uh... Rain needs some flour, a couple of days for that. Shipping request, a couple of days for that as well. We need feathers for this and I'm a little bit reluctant. Uh, and Rain wants to trade an item of clothing. But we've already got the Aussie hat already, so I probably don't need that. Uh, maybe we'll leave that one behind as well. Uh, quite a lot of bottle brush growing. So we could pick some bottle brush, although I'm not... Uh, you know, too crazy about the bottle brush right now. We did pick quite a lot of bottle brush up uh, recently since we had to do the, uh, I think the fourth time or fifth time of our bottle brush restoration. So got plenty of bottle brush sitting in storage right now. So anyway, let's just put a few things away here so we can get going with the day. Do we have enough Rupus? Not really. Well, hopefully as we progress through the day, we'll find enough Rupus to make some more fertilizer. Let's drop in our animal traps. And yeah, let's get cracking. Actually, uh, one thing that I didn't consider though is today is the first day of summer. So there's actually quite a lot of work to be done uh, at the farm. Uh, a lot of old crops that need to be removed and... Uh, we're going to have to replant various things. Uh, also, it's watermelon season, right? So we should actually get some watermelons in. Uh, so we'll think about that. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, so the green bin, uh, sorry, green bins? No, green beans. <laughs> sorry, it's garbage day. And one of the one of the bins uh, out here is, is green colored. It's for organics and uh you know, plants and stuff like that. Uh, green beans are growable during summer. That's fine. Uh, and what else do we have? Tomatoes. Nice. Yes, we'll definitely grow uh, a bunch of tomatoes. Uh, what else grows in the summer? Onions. 
There's going to be tomatoes, onions, and green beans, I suppose. Yep, I'm going to have to be content with that. Um, let's drop that in there. Actually, oh yes, mighty seeds. We need to grow mighty seeds, guys. <laughs> so we need to dedicate one entire patch to mighty seeds, I reckon. Uh, so that, that'll def definitely happen. Um, look, uh, I think the, th the thing that's going to take priority here is the farm. We need to plan out the farm to make sure that we're going to have a good harvest for the season. Uh, and then, yeah, after that, we'll try and head out, see if we can do some work. Now, I don't know if I want to focus on the uh, the water features that we keep banging on about, or if we want to focus more on the ramps. Possibly uh, the ramps is uh, what I'm going to go for. The reason for that is because it is a Sunday and uh, there's a, a big chance that we might actually come across uh, Ted if we sort of go out and about and explore a little bit. And I think uh, playing ar around with the ramps is actually going to let us do that a little bit more uh, compared to the, uh, the work in the north. As much as I would like to get that completed. Uh, but I think, yeah, I would like to go see Ted, obviously. And if Ted shows up, then, well, we, we already know what's going to happen from there. Uh, we're we're going to have to focus up on trying to get uh, our bow and arrows. Hey, 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 mate. Come back here. Goodness me, what a naughty boy. All right. Come back here. Get, 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 get. All right, there you go. Have your breakfast. And stay here. Don't go into the river. All right, so, um, yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was a bit panic inducing. Um, I didn't see any crocs out there though, so that's, that's good. Uh, let's grab the raw grub meat and we'll deal with the crab pots. Yeah, so, I don't know, I feel like there's probably a lot of things that we need to try and do for the day. I'll try and do as much of it as possible. Okay. Now, uh, on to farming. So with the farming, I'm guessing we're going to need the scythe to get rid of quite a few things. Uh... We should be able to drop some bones and some vombat poos, I think. Uh, and maybe we can ignore the roo poos for today. Okay, that should be good. Uh, I also just remembered that we probably should go out to the big farm and check on how that's going. We'll come back to that. Uh, all right, so let's grab the seeds that we need. So onions and tomatoes and mighty seeds. I don't think I'm going to do anything with the beans. Uh, we've got plenty of beans already. We can just keep the beans growing throughout the summer. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to get rid of all this other stuff in here. Uh, unfortunately... Uh, they're probably not going to last, so... Coffee also has to come out as painful as this looks. <laughs> but uh, I think they're just going to die out anyway, so... There we go. That's going to be for our watermelons, actually. I, f I forget we need watermelon seeds. Let's grab the watermelon seeds. And... Uh, yeah, let's hope for the best with this watermelon, because... Uh, both the watermelon and the... Uh, pumpkins, they're, they're really difficult to, to try and get right, aren't they? Uh, so I'll, I'll do one here that should perhaps maximize the amount of potential areas they might spread out to. As soon as we know uh, where it decides to go, we're going to then plug this up with, I think, tomatoes. 
Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll do another one over there in that corner. Uh, and then, yeah, I think that's probably a good spot as well. And then we'll see how it goes with which way it decides to, to grow out to. Uh, and from here, we can just put in the tomatoes, right? So we can go with a tomato there, 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 and one more there, I think. And then we'll continue to put in a few more depending on how the, the watermelons, uh, you know, decide to grow. Um, all right, so we've got onions which are ready very good I'm gonna just replace them in a moment so I'm actually quite surprised that uh, you know the onions sorry not the onions the potatoes you can only grow uh, specifically in the spring. Uh, I don't know much about growing potatoes, to be honest, but uh, I would have thought that they grow, like, all year round. I thought they were more versatile than that. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Uh, you know, in this day and age, you can get potatoes pretty much all year round. Uh, perhaps maybe that's because they're all grown in different spots in the world. Uh, to keep up with supply, if that makes sense. Possibly. Um, anyway. So, uh, aside from onions, I don't think there's really anything else that we can plant in these sections. I think we just have to continue with onions, to be honest. Um, as much as I would have liked to grow something else, we definitely have an onion overload in terms of uh, what we've got in storage. That's fine, we could always sell some of it to Jimmy. Okay, these coffee crops, actually, some of them are quite strong, aren't they? they don't all go down in the one hit. There's a little bit of coffee here which we can harvest. All right, so from here, I think we should get some tomatoes in. Good. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we wasted one seed. I have to get that. Uh, hopefully, we can have a chat with Rain about buying some more tomato seeds. Um, just looking at the time, it's almost two. We've got a couple more hours before she closes her shop. I assume she's operating on Sundays. I believe she is. Okay, cool. Uh, next. So, with this section, this is where I'm planning to actually have all of the, uh, the mighty seeds grow. So, we've got 24. Um, it's probably a little bit excessive, isn't it? Um, oh, actually, no. Uh, it might actually be perfect. Let's give it a go. Yes. Just have the perfect amount. So, got mighty seeds to grow over here. And uh, hopefully we can get quite a few. Um, obviously, once we harvest, I don't think we can continually harvest. Uh, they sort of disappear after harvest, right? So we're gonna have to replace it with something else later, but that's fine. As long as we get like a good batch of mighty spreads. 
I'll be pretty happy. Alright, so let's grab that and again, let's put in more onion seeds. Okay, so before we continue and destroy all of the coffee crop over here, I'm actually just going to go see Rain immediately. And uh, we'll see if she's actually selling some tomatoes today, because I kind of want to get tomatoes in. Nice. These are pretty expensive though, bloody hell. I'll still buy a whole bunch though. <laughs> I probably didn't really need that many considering what type of crops they are, but it's nice to have a supply. And uh, when we, you know, come back to the seasons, we will not have to deal with rain all the time to try and, you know, rush to get these crops in. We can pretty much do it immediately. Okay, so let's get both of these crops in. So I think I'll start on this side. Okay, good stuff and just even more onions, I suppose. Maybe we could have done like mighty seeds like in between some of these sections if we really, really wanted to, but that's all right. We just had enough mighty seeds for that section anyway, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So there we go. Hopefully we'll be harvesting a lot of tomatoes this season. Uh, Next on the agenda, well, I suppose I should put all of the seeds away uh, and then I probably should check on the large farm, but there's really no urgency on the large farm, is there? Um, I think perhaps maybe we go back to, oh yes, watermelons, ah no, okay, uh, I just realized that we've taken up the entire the entire sections here. I think we used to have a little bit of a section around here to grow pumpkins. Um, hmm. I want to try and get watermelons in as much as possible. Uh, do I dare extend the farm a little bit more? I suppose I could. Yeah, bad planning on my part, but you know what, that's okay. Let's just throw away a few things we don't need. Okay, and we're going to need to replant some of these gum nuts and also the uh, bush limes. Yeah, this is turning out to be a very busy day indeed. Okay. Uh, and, you know, we mustn't forget that um, there's then all the stuff that I want to do with uh, exploring and trying to find Ted out there. 
Uh, that doesn't go there. We'll, we'll carry this actually. We, we could have a, a need to consume something. Uh, I'll throw that away. Grass seeds. Uh, yeah, looking good. We probably do need some fertilizer. And we need the hoe as well. Uh, and we do need some fencing, actually. 100% we will need that. And one of these. I think we can get rid of the Psy. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, I really want to try and get as many watermelons as we can, but uh, they're very, very difficult to manage, watermelons. Um, Alright, so... Maybe I'll start with that. That should come out to one, two, three, four. So we need fencing that goes out here. Uh, I should probably print some soil. Probably not the best, like it doesn't maximize the space or anything like that, but that's okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, so. Yeah, just needs to go out there. Uh, actually, no. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. My bad. That's the extent, isn't it? It, it only waters a couple of tiles down. Which means that we can afford to do that, right? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Alright, um, yeah, I haven't really put down a, um, an advanced sprinkler in a very long time. Okay, and, um, let's get our seeds in. Again, this is, this is the hard part, isn't it? Like, deciding where you're gonna actually place the, um, the watermelons. Yeah, let's do something like that. Um, and yeah, we sort of need to... Oh, God. I've gone ahead and done it, haven't I? <laughs> I haven't fertilized the soil. Um, anyway, that, that might have not been the best placement for it anyway. So let's think about this. So I think I'll I'll try and go with the corners. So if that grows out in two directions, then we can maybe have another one from here growing out in three directions. Yep. And then another one here. And I suppose we can just like copy copy that side and uh, hope for the best um, I think what we'll do is something like that we'll hope like these plants actually grow and take up the the space correctly 
And then, yeah, once we sort of figure out where they're growing towards in a few days, we'll get some tomato uh, plants in. Um, we're going to need to water these guys, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, well, it has been a very long day of farming, hasn't it? Um, ah, yes. Uh, then there's a the matter of whether or not the uh, the watering tower is actually going to reach it. Um, I forget how far this goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think it reaches. Um, but I think tomorrow morning we'll we'll quickly check if the sprinklers are working and if it's not I do have a spare water tower So uh, it's it's not the end of the world. We can definitely get it done All right It's been a long day indeed finally we're done with the farming uh, and I think we're gonna go to the workshop to start crafting those ramps. So let's just put a few things away while we can. Uh, I think that's it here. Do I want a, a palm wood gate? I suppose I can get a palm wood gate in there. Because we've got gates going on in every section. So why not? Let's get one in. There we go. Uh, we could put some pathways in. All right, good stuff. Uh, let's drop that there and just trying to think of what else we need to leave behind. I think that's it. It's lucky that we actually had a spare uh, advanced sprinkler to work with, so uh, that sort of worked out. Uh, I'm just not keen on having a bigger farm now to manage, <laughs> but that's okay. That's all right. Uh, Hopefully we'll get a few decent watermelons out of that spot over there. Um, there's actually this little section here which I haven't done anything with. Uh, that used to be where one of the mighty seeds were. Anyway, we won't talk about that failure. <laughs> Technically it's not my fault guys, it's uh, it's the fault of all of the townies because we, we sort of set that there as a bit of an experiment to see whether or not the townies will actually get the job done and they absolutely failed at their jobs. They only had the one patch to deal with as well, so super disappointing. Anyway, um, while we're here we can probably brew some more coffee. Because we all like a, a good coffee. Oh yes, uh, no, we have to roast the beans first. I forget about that. Uh, we do have a roasted coffee already. Let's drop this in. Yeah, and I'm really happy that it only takes like one bag at a time. All right, so um, anything else we can put away? Perhaps maybe we can just drop a few other things here. That goes there. Uh, the island crab we can just drop off next to John's. Good. All right, so let's get to looking at those ramps and seeing if we can craft them. Uh, I forget what we need for them, actually. Uh, palm wood planks and bags of cement. Well, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. 
got a decent amount. I think we should be able to get a few. Uh, maybe I should actually start cutting up some palm wood as well. Speed up the process a little bit. Uh, and speaking of cutting up wood, uh, we do have the matter of getting an improved table saw uh, from Franklin whenever we can see him. So I think that's probably on the cards for tomorrow. Okay, let's see how we go here. Yeah, we should be able to make a few. Okay, and we may as well get a few more rock paths as well. There is still plenty of infrastructure work to do, uh, and I'm keen on getting these rock paths in, uh, especially towards some of the smaller islands. Got plenty of bridges to get there as well. Righty, oh, so. Let's drop a few things away. Uh, I think these can go here as well. Planks can go. These fences. Can we store these fences here? Yes, we can. Nice. All right. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with all these steps, but we'll figure that out some at some point. Um, and we've got a couple more of these. Uh, wide brick bridges, so again, need to consider where they're gonna go. Um, Alright, I think it's time for us to get going. Um, one of the main things that I'm looking forward to is just trying to find Ted out there somewhere. Um, hopefully he shows up. Uh, according to my intel, <laughs> my intel being uh, comments from you guys, is uh, that he should be showing up on Sundays. So let's hope for the best. And if we do meet him, then we're going to immediately try and get the uh, <laughs> the bow and the arrows. Whoops. Sorry, Maggie. Uh, you know what? I might as well also grab some food for the boys. Alright. Uh, let's continue on. So I was thinking maybe of going towards this side. Uh, well, yeah, there, there's definitely still some bridges that we also need to fix, such as this one. Uh, so let's get to it. Uh, let's drop these in place and... Try and get the pathways in. Good. Doesn't look like we need any on this side. Uh, we probably have like a, a good chunk over here where we could uh, put in some ramps as well. Uh, this could do with a bit of a, a widening. Okay. And... 
Just going to get rid of the grass pattern. Great. Oh, sorry. Um, forgot about the actual pathways underneath them. Uh, you know what? It's probably going to be a better idea if we put these pathways in the middle. I mean, I do like the rustic look, but uh, I think having them in the middle for this pathway is fine. Let's just do something along those lines. Okay, good. Great, and that should let the ute go through a little bit more. Um, I'm reluctant to cut this down, because these trees are actually a little bit rare. <laughs> so uh, let, let's leave those trees alone. Do something like that. Uh, haven't bumped into Ted. So I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, and I believe another day that Ted hangs around in Wuyan is also on Tuesdays, potentially. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll try and see if we can go out and about on a Tuesday. Um, but anyway, that looks decent. Do we want maybe a couple more pathways here? Um... I'm just thinking whether or not I uh, I need to widen this uh, this bridge. Let's put an X on it, and we can always sort of come back to it. I'll have a think about that one. All right, let's continue on. Uh, this is definitely a prime location for a bit more of a, uh, a ramp to sort of help the, the ute get up. Although, the surface around here is a little bit awkward, isn't it? The, the jaggedness. So, I think we should be good to go now. Let's sort of do something like that. Yeah, all right. Now let's let's try this again. I do not want the grass in there. Yeah, good. And just like that, guys, we've already <laughs> run out of uh, more ramps. Uh, we're going to need heaps more ramps on this side as well. Look at that. So, uh, yes, this is turning out to be a huge replacement project. All right. Let's head back. Uh, I'm just sort of thinking we went through around this area here. I'm, I'm sort of hoping to try and find Ted somehow. Uh, do I want to maybe just randomly ride around? Let's see if we can get lucky. 
I don't know if there are certain conditions that have to be met for him to show up. Aside from maybe just the, the certain days. And as far as I know, he shows up in seeming ra uh, seemingly random locations. So... Okay, the large farm is not quite ready yet, actually, so that's good to know. Uh, I was sort of thinking whether or not we need to do some work on that tonight. But, uh, maybe not. Let's head back, and I think I'll make a few more of these ramps. Oh, okay. Look at these weirdos. Alright, um... Yeah, finally we actually got some use out of the bandstand, didn't we? Uh, you know what? Since we've got... spares, uh, we may as well... like chuck some more steps in. That might look a little bit nicer. Alright. So, uh, more cement, more palm wood, and let's, let's go for it. Let's do a few more. Okay. Uh, at what point exactly are we going to stop putting ramps down? I'm not entirely sure, guys. Um, Really just wanting the ramps to be around for wherever we take the ute to. And uh, as I mentioned before, I think the initial plan that I had was the, the ute was going to be a vehicle that we use sort of centrally. Uh, and that any sort of further locations would be accessible with the motorbike. So that is still the plan. Um, I'm just sort of thinking about... Um, you know, like, where I'm going to set up more, uh, large, uh, bridges and stuff. I think there's supposed to be a large bridge that goes here, and possibly, uh, another one over there. Um, but yeah, then we also saw the, the bridge over here. That's sort of going on top of the, uh, or over, uh, the, uh, the bushland over here. So, uh, maybe we need a few more bridges as well. But anyway, we'll, we'll come back to that if we do need to. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at where else we need to sort of work on. I think, uh, there's scope to connect, uh, this island here with a bridge. Uh, and then, again, another bridge over here, so this beach area becomes a little bit more accessible. So yeah, we'll, we'll think about doing that. Um, then there's all of this as well. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, I think we're going to be calling this an episode, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know how, how I feel about this episode. Uh... Last episode was interesting because, uh, you know, we had the the huge Wu Yen day and all the fireworks and the snags 
which was quite nice. I feel like this episode could be a little bit of a letdown because not a lot happened. Although it is the first day of the season and generally those episodes uh, involve a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of farm work. Uh, mind you, I did uh, make a little bit more work for myself because I didn't plan the farm very well. Um, but hey, that's alright. Th things worked out in the end and things are growing uh, for now anyway. We'll just have to hope for the best. Uh, alright, well, I think this is it guys. Um, next episode, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do. Perhaps maybe continue our infrastructure work or maybe break things up by doing something a little bit different. We'll see. I'll think about it guys. But anyway, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this one. As usual guys, leave a like, a dislike or a comment or two down below. Stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one.